What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video review today. I am super excited to be doing this video for you guys because right behind me is a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Overland. And uh, well, I've been trying to get my hands on doing a video with this vehicle for a little while. It's just an absolute beast, absolute elegant, beautiful vehicle that Jeep has produced. I love the new body style that they have uh, uh, been coming out with now. And this is how all the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokees are gonna look as well. We got a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 under the hood, 360 horsepower with air suspension, select train performance. This thing is just absolutely sick. Absolute beautiful sound system, amazing ride. Uh, a lot of really cool features that you're gonna like. So make sure you stay tuned and watch this video. Hit that like button because it helps support our uh, channel with the algorithm and uh, social media. Make sure you also comment down below what you thought of this video and uh, any feedback that you have and subscribe because it helps build our channel and our little uh, family here on YouTube so we can continue to bring you guys this amazing content. So without further ado, let's get started. guys let's get things rolling today if you've uh, been tuning into the channel and uh, watching all the video reviews that I've been doing you guys know that I am on the way to the spot where we do our uh, full review of the interior as well as the exterior and uh, yeah guys I like I said in the beginning I am beyond excited for today's video uh, and um, it's been a, it's been a while I've been waiting patiently we have a few Grand Cherokee L's on the lot but i was waiting for this one specifically because this is the v8 5.7 liter hemi and it's the overland package which uh, is pretty much fully loaded we've got the macintosh sound system we've got our uh, quadra air lift suspension we've also got the select train performance um uh, package in here as well and uh yeah guys i i can't express the luxury <sighs> The perfection the elegance and the comfort that this vehicle provides you um and and the price range honestly isn't too bad uh, 79,000 canadian that is not terrible uh, i know for some people you know that might be outrageous to you and that's fine we all have different opinions and um and different perspectives on the pricing of a vehicle but i'm gonna tell you this if you are in this vehicle in person on a test drive you would understand how i feel about this vehicle and we're going to go through all of that today the the features uh this because this vehicle has some very very cool features and um we're going to go through the all the buttons all the features the exterior look we have it in this beautiful beautiful um black diamond crystal black and uh, this is honestly one of my favorite colors that uh jeep does on their grand cherokees and all their other vehicles and fleet um i just love black i think black on black is always clean even black with chrome accents um i just for me preference wise i'm very picky when it comes to buying a car and i i do prefer uh the the black it just it's it's a clean look uh it's sleek on the road and um it's classy to me and uh yeah like just overall uh I, I really wish you guys could experience this and i hope that if any of you are in the market um and looking to buy a vehicle um especially one with three rows because this is an suv that has three rows we have seven or eight seats in this vehicle which is crazy you can fit the whole family and their friend uh, your kids' friends and, or whatever it may be in this car and it's comfortable the seats are comfortable the entire way this vehicle has been built is just very luxurious very classy and um this is uh jeep's new direction in uh their three row vehicles this is the new body style we got the 2022 grand cherokees coming out soon and they're gonna be be, uh, be in the exact same uh, kind of body style and uh, i'm i'm actually really impressed with uh with jeep's um 
uh, direction that they're taking and I uh, just like the modern look and feel like the wood accents that are throughout this whole vehicle I don't want to get too carried away here in the intro um, because honestly it, there's just so much to talk about so much to go over and just sitting here in the driver's seat I love this steering wheel it's so classy so luxurious and uh, I just I, I truly am a Jeep fan um, more so a Grand Cherokee uh, Jeep fan than I am a Wrangler and I hope that doesn't annoy some of you guys I do love <clears throat> pardon me that I do love uh, Wranglers but they just aren't my style of vehicle in terms of driving um, I'm also not really an off-road kind of guy I hope one day I'll have the time to, to be able to do more off-roading but uh, I love classy I love good sound systems and this vehicle has an insane sound system absolutely smashes and uh that was one thing that impressed me a lot as well and um uh, you can't go wrong with macintosh they, they they really do do hit the nail on the head when it comes to sound in in all directions um you know the macintosh is the exact same sound system that you get in the wagon year and the grand wagon year um and uh, i believe you can probably uh have a, a other options as well um but yeah just overall like this is a longer vehicle it's a it's not as wide i would say but it is a little bit longer so you do take up a little bit more of the road but it, it just like i was saying in that last video of the uh durango it doesn't make you feel like you're in a vehicle that's like very big like a lincoln or a caddy you feel like you're in a, the driver's seat you feel like you're in a compact suv with a lot of performance and um and that's impressive and, and to me that's important because you know sometimes people hesitate on wanting to drive a vehicle of this size and i'll be honest it, 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 it's no longer than a uh a chrysler pacifica or a minivan you know what i mean and so for the for seventy nine thousand dollars you're getting a lot inside of this vehicle and we're going to go over all of that today i'm going to take it right over here and what we're going to do is give this uh little beauty a little bit of a pull uh, this is the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, so 360 horsepower under the hood here. Um, and I got it in sport mode, of course. Just down here, there's a button. We got sport, auto, snow, uh, sand, and rock, as well as the uh, the um, the Quadra Air lift suspension just right here on the uh, the right side. Very easy to, to lift and lower the uh, vehicle, and I love that a lot. It's really cool, um, you know, uh, for aerodynamics, for off-roading. Uh, you're getting a vehicle that's made for the city, but also made for off-roading. This vehicle could handle any terrain, um, hence the uh, select terrain performance package that is in this vehicle. And so overall, I'm excited to show you guys this uh, vehicle today. We got the full sunroof. We got a beautiful day in North Vancouver, like I said earlier. And um, I couldn't be more excited today than, uh, uh, than I am now to be doing this video. I've been waiting a long time to be able to get this beautiful uh, car on review and um, the day has come and I hope you guys sit back grab some popcorn enjoy the video uh, leave a like you know it supports the channel comment down below your feedback positive or negative I'm always uh, open all ears and uh, hit that subscribe button because it just helps our channel grow and uh, allows us to continue to bring this uh, footage for you guys but let's uh, let's give it a little uh, pull here hear that hear that hand me a little bit gee I'll tell you like this vehicle is long but it feels it feels punchy and it's got some nice growl to it um you know if you're someone with a family and you're like you know dreading getting rid of your uh your coupe or whatever it may be and you don't want to go to a minivan well you know what i mean this it still puts you back a little bit in your seat you can get up pretty quick especially in sport mode you can see there the uh the cluster the uh, rev rev limiter it's it's keeping it you know right there so when you put your foot on the gas that you're punching and you're and you're going quick which i love and the other feature you know a lot of vehicles are starting to have this nowadays but the one feature i really love is the uh rear view uh, mirror and the um the way you can see out the back like a camera very easy to turn it off and use it as a regular rear view mirror for some people who don't like it um but overall i really like it earlier i was out of light i could see into the other people's car i could see what they were doing and uh, i think that's pretty funny i think eventually it would be cool if jeep can maybe make this rear view camera a little bit wider because it is a little bit uh zoomed in um so the perspective isn't as uh as true as um you know when it's not on um but nevertheless i don't want to jump too far ahead here um, I wanted to give a little taste of what this beauty is like on the road and it's an absolute gorgeous drive You, you need to test drive this for yourself, but um, further ado guys, let's get this video rolling um, I'm super excited. So let's go All 
right, guys, we are now parked off to the side. So let's get this video officially started. We're gonna start here in the interior of the cabin and go over all of the features that we have here in this beautiful 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Overland. 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, like I said, 360 horsepower. This thing is super fun and luxurious uh, in every way. And we're gonna go through some of those features today. And uh, just starting here in the uh, the driver's seat with the steering wheel, the elegance that the steering wheel just presents you with, with the wood finishing right up through the uh, the steering wheel here with this beautiful high gloss black, as well as the, uh, the chrome kind of little accents here, which I think is very clean, tying in with the, the middle here and the, 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 the black and the uh, the chrome and as well as the uh, the paddle shifters we got that matte black with the chrome uh, just absolutely gorgeous and just such a nice steering wheel I love the design of it uh, the size it's, it's just it feels great in your hand it's obviously a heated steering wheel we got white stitching in here just very well thought thought out um, tying in with the entire vehicle because there is a lot of high gloss black a lot of chrome and a nice bit of wood uh, finishing just as you can see here throughout the entire uh, cabin and it's just super impressive we got an amazing cluster screen right in front of us just full digital absolutely gorgeous uh, as you can see here if I uh, rev it a little bit you can see the uh the rev limiter going up that way I love the way that looks it looks absolutely clean you can hear that 5.7 liter Hemi just growling, wanting to just take over the streets. Uh, I just love that a lot. Behind the steering wheel, we have our uh, windshield wiper buttons and uh, all that stuff for the front and the back, and then as well as our turning signals. I've said this in a lot of videos. I really hope Jeep, Ram, Dodge, like a lot of these companies can start investing and, and tying in the entire, they do so well with the, their interior and the way they lay out the whole vehicle. It would just be cool to see them do the same thing here with some unique uh, indicators and uh, windshield wiper buttons. I know with the pandemic, a lot of parts and uh, stuff like that are limited. So, you know, they're probably making do with what they, they have. But at the end of the day, I think they could really make some really cool things here that just add a little more elegance and add a little more depth to what the, the vehicle's value is and um i'm sure it wouldn't add too much more cost you know what i mean you're paying seventy nine thousand for this vehicle you want to make sure that you get everything possible out of it and this one is brand spanking new shout out foundation auto north vancouver on 1600 marine for providing today's vehicle for this video we got 42 kilometers on the clock this thing is brand new hasn't even seen a whole lot of day and uh well today we got a beautiful sunny day we got the backdrop of vancouver right there it's just it's a it's a perfect day to do this video and uh, like i said earlier I, I really wanted to to do this car it's it's been on my uh, list of cars that i really wanted to review and like i've said in other videos guys i'm not an ex car expert i'm uh, i'm trying to learn as much as i can as i go but i want to give them an honest review um in the most unbiased uh, perspective i can and uh, just uh, help some of you guys who are out there in the market looking to buy a vehicle whether it's this a lincoln or whatever it may be just uh watch the video consider look at all the features save yourself a little bit of time from going to the dealership but if it really intrigues you make sure you come down and see one of our sales guys because they will take care of you and uh we will give you that best best experience possible and uh they will earn your trust i, I truly believe that and stand by it but going right back into uh, what we're talking about with the cluster just absolutely gorgeous have all our settings here that we can go through messages audio have your audio up there your off-roading um uh, screen just like that uh if we go back there you can actually see showing your arrow and uh i like that a lot we're obviously in sport mode right now um more of our uh we got some more settings here tire pressures um and all that stuff uh i believe i'm not 100 percent sure um i know i was in an, a J grand cherokee l uh b before a different version of this one i'm not too sure if this one has it but there was a night vision camera that would be in the cluster which was absolutely sick i actually want to see if we can find it because uh that was very impressive to me and i've never seen that in a vehicle before um i thought that was pretty crazy to have night vision in a vehicle that is just absolutely berserk to me um, but maybe uh, I think this one does not have it. We do have the driver assist in there, which is cool. Um, but yeah, moving on. We got this gorgeous leather just wrapped throughout the entire um, uh, vehicle here. And it, it, just with the white stitching and then 
kind of contrasting down to the leather over here, all the way down to the wood with that chrome, and then meeting us into the middle here with this high gloss, 10.1 inch screen, touch screen, uh, with all the control buttons as well, in case you don't wanna mess around too much with the screen. Um, and then, like I said, we got the Macintosh sound system here. I love the way Macintosh stands out from every, every other um, uh, sound system. They just add a little bit of luxury with the way that they uh, invent, or what's the word? Um, uh make the, the way they uh, make their presence in the vehicle uh with the with the display showing you uh macintosh and um I, I i truly love that sound system it absolutely bangs we're gonna try and throw some of that on today without getting copyrighted um but yeah moving them back onto this 10.1 inch screen right here we're gonna we're gonna dive right into this real quick because there's a few settings in here that are just absolutely game changer for me and i've actually never experienced it in a car before uh, so don't judge me, but uh, starting right here on the main page on home right here We got our our uh, navigation which if you just click like that It's gonna open up the full nav take you straight to the nav screen and uh, I like that a lot You can even go into the uh, the 3d version um, Click that I like that a lot really cool um, at the top here You're gonna see kind of display like you would on your uh, cell phone. We've got our uh, our mic our uh, passengers uh, settings for the climate uh, time obviously audio uh, the, d the temperature outside notifications and then driver preferences so if you want to set driver profiles you know you know what you want to have a little more of a profile for yourself and then you know your wife maybe drives a car a little bit differently so you have a profile for her uh, so it's kind of like a net like Netflix you can just pick your own profiles and that way everything's catered to you which is super cool you can edit the profile just right there add a new one it's it's effortless it takes seconds we mentioned this in uh, one of the vehicles recently valet mode one of the coolest features i love a lot in vehicles because valet mode just in my opinion it, it, it's like a little cheat code if you, if you have a 16 year old or 17 year old son that wants to take the car out for a few days or whatever maybe you're or you're going to a restaurant you're dropping your car off you're paying a lot of money for these cars and you don't want someone to screw that up for you so you throw it into valet mode put your security you click it put your security code enter your pin code and then that way you can limit the vehicle to the speed and um and all that jazz so that the car is restricted from doing a lot of things that way no one can really go and uh, mess about uh going into media we got our standard uh, media settings here obviously um the usb uh, plugins the bluetooth our sirius xm and our fm we give a little bit of a taste without uh, hopefully getting um demonetized but uh, let's just jump into a little bit of uh yeah, I have a feeling that's probably gonna get monetized, but let's uh, let's just avoid that because that doesn't really have the base we want to be messing around with, anyways. Um, but just up here, you got your audio settings as well, your balance and fade throughout the uh, the cabin. Our equalizers don't really have any of it set on, and this car was banging, so uh, that's really interesting. So if I set some of these, that might actually enhance the uh, the sound a lot more. We got our speed uh, volume here, so the faster you drive, the f the louder the car the car is gonna play the music, which is super cool, pump you up, get you going. We got our surround sound. Let's turn that on because you know who doesn't like a little bit of surround sound and uh, all the extra jazz just right over here you can play around with all those settings uh, back to our sources uh, just shows you a little bit of a layout you can have two two usbs an auxiliary uh, am fm sirius bluetooth and moving on to my favorite area of this car is the comfort mode comfort mode has one of the coolest features that i have seen in a jeep um in a while or in my in my lifetime at least and that's the massage feature this is absolutely game changing when i first drove the cherokee l with the massage feature i was blown away i couldn't believe it i almost fell asleep driving at the wheel because it's just so relaxing we just click waterfall right here uh we'll click it on just like that click waterfall put it on high sit back just like this and oh yeah like it's it's getting in there i i want you guys to experience this through the video but unfortunately you can't but i am getting a nice massage making this video even more relaxing to make for you guys and uh ooh, it's hitting the spot it's hitting the spots that's for sure get i needed it my uh my back was a little bit tangled up today so this is nice and uh waterfall is nice because it kind of just dr uh, dribbles down uh, throughout your back there as you can see on the screen just kind of going downwards just doing a nice little waterfall along your uh your back muscles uh, we also got the lower back if you uh, want to get your lower back going extend low extend rock climb uh you can really uh, mess around with these and the cool thing is your passenger will also have the massage chair hooked up which is very cool as you can see here your passenger so you guys are you know mom and dad driving long road trip to uh to Kelowna well guess what you have very very nice 
uh, driver and passenger seats, but now you have massage chairs as well, and uh, that that road trip uh, will become a lot easier. And uh, when you get out and stretch, uh, you're you're probably gonna feel a lot better. And I just think that's so cool. Even if you're waiting for someone, just throw in a little massage, have a relaxation. I, I'm ready to fall asleep, so I'm probably gonna have to turn this off um, because uh, yeah, it's it's just too good. It's too good to be true. I love it so much. We got our rear climates just right there, um, and then our, our front climates here. So we do have the heated and ventilated seats. Uh, both passenger and driver and we have the uh, heated steering wheel as well uh, right now I have the AC on because it uh, was quite a busy day so I was getting a little warm there turn that down so the fans aren't as loud for you guys um, and uh, let's just keep moving along here so we got our nav uh, like I showed you earlier, we got our phone. Very easy to set this up. Just go into your Bluetooth settings and uh, you, you can get that set up within five minutes uh, or less actually, like one minute. Uh, we go to vehicle here. We've got our uh, mirror dimmer, our third row uh, headrest fold and our rear view uh, camera, as you can see there. Very, uh, that's the demo plate in the way, so uh, that's not the, the car doing that. Uh, very nice rear view camera, almost 4K quality. Very impressive, especially on this 10.1 inch screen. You see everything very clearly, bright as day, and I love that a lot. Um, that is uh, very important when you're uh, driving a car this size, you wanna make sure you can see everything the best you can. And if you wanna zoom into certain areas, you can just like that. So uh, we'll exit out of that. We got all our apps right here load those all up we're gonna have everything in here alexa uh all your sits audio settings just absolutely everything you got your ambient light uh coloring in here so you know the this car has some beautiful ambient uh lighting and obviously it's bright right now so we can't uh can't quite show you that but as you can see right there those are the ambient controls we've got the blue going on which is absolutely clean one of my favorites um and uh yeah I'll, we won't mess around too much with it but you can uh, you can adjust the uh, the coloring just by touching it like that, and you can see which uh, parts of the vehicle will change. So at the bottom now we're gonna go yellow, and I think that's really cool. You can have a little fun with that, um, especially at nighttime. This car is just absolutely gorgeous to be in and drive, and uh, we got it in the diamond black uh, crystal color here. So um, you know at night this thing is like a little Batmobile, uh, which I love a lot. Uh, so. Finishing up there with the 10.1 uh, inch screen, we're gonna just dive down a little bit here into the uh, controls. So we do have all the climate controls that you saw in there is gonna be down here as well, as well as our volume and our tune. Um, very nice, so that way if you, you get, your, uh, some people are more used to just you know hitting heated seats just like that instead of going into the uh, the settings to do all of that. And so that's really cool. And you can put the ventilated on, we'll throw those on for a little bit. Um, and then all your extra, uh, your, um, settings just down there as you can see we do have two usb ports two usb c ports uh 12 v uh, 12 volt dc plug-in and this is your wireless charging uh, uh station just down here i'll pull my phone out make sure no one's texting me there we'll put that just like that and uh we should see it uh hit charge perfect so now it's uh it's starting to charge which is uh very impressive and very cool um and uh, if you want to just close it up like that make it flush just like that the ventilated seats just kicked in and wow it feels amazing it's almost like an icy hot feeling i love ventilated seats especially if like it's summertime like you're just gonna stay cool all the way around and that's uh that's important for some people and um uh, I, I like that a lot as well to open that up just press it just like that very easy so we'll close it up just like that keep everything nice and flush we still got the stickers on this thing because it is brand spanking new um but uh moving on to this dial this uh dial here i love a lot adds a lot of elegance and class to this vehicle with all the chrome and the high gloss all tying together i love it a lot it's actually really nice to to change the gears you just put your foot on the brake and uh, you can throw it into neutral just like that one turn you can throw it in a neutral uh part sorry reverse and then now put it in neutral and then obviously into uh into drive and uh it's very nice it's very sturdy doesn't feel cheap which is very important um uh i like that a lot and it's very very important that it doesn't feel cheap because uh you know some companies fail with that you got a nice little glass kind of touch here with the uh the chrome and then uh obviously our uh, chrome over there as well uh like i was saying earlier we got our rock sand mud snow auto and sport settings right here very easy just a flick of a button very nice uh way responsive in terms of the button it feels nice and heavy so uh, it doesn't feel cheap um just adjust the vehicle just like that. I like it in sport because this thing's absolutely cool. We can lower and raise the vehicle just right here. You just tap it up the same way and we'll uh, we'll go all the way up. Let's see. Uh... 
<laughs> you can feel it raising itself, which is really cool. I don't know if in the video it's gonna translate, but we are all the way up now off the ground. So uh, that is really cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's, not, let's not get too carried away. I just love this car so much. Uh, it's so impressive and so much fun. Like I would definitely own one of these. This and the Durango just are so tough to decide, but this is definitely more elegant and classy. And uh, you just can't go wrong with Jeep either. They, uh, they, are, they are the best at what they do for a reason and they're number one uh, SUV in Canada for a reason. And so give them props where uh, props are due. We've got all our more settings down here, our four wheel drives. Um, if you open up this right here, you got your cup holders with ambient lighting as well, which is very nice, uh, very nicely placed as well. So it's out of the way of everything. Right in the middle here, we have one um, part that opens up and it's more of like a little bit of a, a storage place that you could put more delicate things. Just with the nice suede um, kind of uh, padding that's in here. And then if we do one more click, then we got a bigger section with the exact same kind of padding. So you can fit quite a bit in here. This is a big space um yeah like it's really the world's your oyster when it comes to the storage over here you could do whatever you want with it uh so let's close that up like i said earlier this is i love the review um camera with the the camera like this it's very easy just to turn it off there's a little flick here you just hit that and as you can see it's off and you can just adjust it just like that so that it uh obviously is um uh, showing you in the back and if you want to put it back on just like that and then you can adjust it again um obviously that is set so you don't really need to move the mirror around it's just very easy for you want to be able to have it at a point where it's easy for you to see um moving up here we have the full sun sunroof that goes all the way back to uh, just by, uh, just a little bit behind the second row there. Um, and to uh, play with those settings, you can just click this right here. It's gonna close the visor. So at nighttime or in the day, if you want it a little bit darker, a little more intimate, uh, just like that one touch, the whole thing is gonna close very nicely and effortlessly. Um, and doesn't make a lot of noise. It's very quiet and soothing. This car is, this car is the full luxury that you want and you need. It's so clean. You almost couldn't tell it's there until you just press it once and boom. Now she's gonna open up just like that. To open up the glass, it's very easy, very simple. Uh, the same button that's parallel to it, you just click open just like that. And we're gonna have the glass just nicely and, and quietly open up all the way to about here, um, which gives you, uh, it's gonna stop like that. Just make sure you wanna open it all the way. It's gonna let you know, press me one more time and uh, give you access to that beautiful airflow that's coming in and a uh, beautiful sky. And uh, it's an amazing day here today. Uh, in North Vancouver, I uh, must say 10 degrees out, can't complain at all. Um, it's been a little bit shitty over the winter, so uh, we'll take this uh, as we can get it. But yeah, just uh, amazing in the summertime, you could have such a blast with this thing, um, just cruising in Kelowna, wherever it may be, and have the everything open up and have your airflow just flowing out throughout the whole vehicle, which is super important. And uh, I love that a lot, very quiet. We're gonna close that up just a little bit. Um, you know what, actually, you know, we'll do the video with this open because uh, why not? You know what I mean? So yeah, moving on, we got our light switches here, our uh, trunk our trunk button right here to open up the trunk, uh, more of our uh, light switches here, uh, our sys buttons, and a uh, little place to store your uh, sunglasses. Uh, right here, we got our garage control, and then obviously, um, a uh, little mirror to make sure that uh, you look good. Uh, so moving on here to the uh, door paneling, we got this amazing um, chrome handle. Very nice, just sleek how it cuts in like that. Feels very good in the hands as well. It doesn't feel too cheap, which I like. We uh, also have our um, our controls here for the uh, windows, which I like a lot too. They are they're nice and they uh, fit the th theme of the vehicle, which is very cool. Uh, they're not just some cheap buttons and uh, they are one touch. So just like that, you can open. And just like that, you can close. We got our uh, mirrors right here to fold them in. You just rotate that down just like that on the bottom and the mirrors are gonna fold in. That way when you park and you don't want anyone to hit your vehicle, simple as that. Just uh, close them up and then flip the switch and uh, there we go, we're back open again. Open up this door here as we uh, get ready to get out. We got our memory, um, memory control buttons as you can see right here for the seats. And uh, as you can see, like I was saying earlier with Macintosh and how they just design their speakers so elegantly. Um, and it just fits this theme of the vehicle so well with Jeep. We got our controls right here for the seats. Uh, move back and forth, up and down. You got your backrest, all that jazz. Uh, got our Jeep logo here in Chrome. This vehicle's gotten a little bit dirty as I uh, have gotten ready for the, uh, the shoot today, but nevertheless, uh, we got our headlight and taillight controls, our cabin dimmers, and this is the button to adjust the steering wheel uh, so that you can have it to your preference. Got a little paddle shifters right here behind with our voice controls and our uh, volume buttons. Um, 
Blanc, just gorgeously, uh, look at this, since 1941, just this gorgeous chrome, as you can see right here, just tying itself in perfectly with this wood. You can see the wood just throughout the whole door paneling and throughout this whole vehicle. It's super impressive, I love it a lot. And just a great look inside the, uh, the cabin here, just absolutely gorgeous we do have this thing raised like i said we did that earlier you guys were watching we raised this thing all the way to the top so it's a little bit higher off the ground um but just a, just gorgeous seats v uh <laughs> heated and ventilated with the gorgeous uh, overland just right here and and uh bedded into the seating i love that a lot i love the overland package i love the summit package uh absolutely amazing can't go wrong we got our parking brake right here and then uh for the hood which we'll check out later just open it like that Let's make our way into the uh, back of the cabin now. Just one more look into the, the front. We'll make, a, make sure we take a look in the passenger side as well. As you can see, the vehicle is just absolutely monster and gorgeous. Look how much it's raised with the, uh, the uh, air suspension. It's just absolutely sick how uh, we've been able to raise it that high up off the ground. If we open up into the back here, we got my hat just chilling by itself. We'll put that in the front, um, get that out the way. Uh, I do have this seat quite a bit forwards, but that's okay because you can actually pull this all the way back so that they have a little bit more uh, seating space and that's just with, you know, the bar right here, which is very easy and very simple. And if you want to get access to your third row as well, you just pull this back and that's going to open up your uh, your access to the third row. And I believe if you press this and you press that, these two buttons right here, you're going to open up that third row, uh, make sure you can fit everybody in there. or um, you know vice versa if you want to have it all the way down and have more trunk space You know what I mean? It's it wouldn't be too bad, but let's get in the back here Let's get a feel for ourselves. We've got heated and ventilated seats in the back here, which is super impressive Put the headrests up a little bit Yeah, not too bad. I'm not gonna pull that down so that way I don't get uh jammed up But you know what actually let's just try it Because why not the buns right here? Um, as you can see, I do have this all the way back. So obviously it's uh, my knees are a little bit tighter I am 6'1", but I'm honestly not lying like this is very comfortable to sit back here It uh, it, it generally does feel very comfortable the seats even though my knees are touching the back But uh, you can move this a little bit forward and get a little more knee space as you can see right here That seats a little more forward. So get a little more knee space. You got your um, cup holders here, which is super cool We got a USB and USB-C port on this side. We got some vents and then um, we got our lights right here as well And we have a USB C and USB uh USB and USB C port. My keys dropped out there, guys. So I'm gonna have to put that back in my pocket. Um, but we got our uh cup holder here as well, and then uh our uh, seat buttons here. So just to open up that, very easy. So the person in the back could even get out themselves. Um, yeah, let's hop out here. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. A little look in there one more time in the back. You want to put them down, you just press this. And uh, there they go, very quietly, very effortlessly, effortlessly, they fold down. And look at that trunk space, guys. That is crazy. That is a lot of trunk space. If you wanted to just use this as a two-row vehicle, that is a crazy amount of trunk space. Um, you could get quite a bit done with that. Uh, so let's pull this down. Very easy, just like that. We're going to pull the seat all the way back, just like this. Get in the back here. I do have the uh, the front seat all the way forward so keep that in or all the way back so keep that in mind i'm about six one so i uh, do need a little bit more knee knee room and uh, leg room um, but very comfortable nevertheless got a heated and ventilated back here as you can see We've got all the climate controls right here for your uh, passengers in the back so the driver and passenger in the front don't have to be bothered we've got two usb and two usb c ports 115 volt ac uh, and 150 watt plug just right here boom just like that very nice quality vents not cheap got a little bit of stiffness to them which is nice and uh just kind of like a little bit of a touch screen we haven't taken the peel off yet um got like our uh, off-roading kind of sahara feel uh net mesh on the back here storage of the seats which i like a lot just kind of still telling you that hey you can off-road in this thing it's not just a city car to look pretty you can still get a little dirty in this thing um and uh one thing that's really nice is the uh protection visors which i like a lot you know if you have the windows down and you don't want any bugs or anything flying into your face got these uh, protective visors just right here very easy to take off and on you just pull them up like that close them put them back on just like that very easy very effortless put up the the window just like that we'll open this you can see some air vents on the side here as well uh gorgeous seats right here uh chunkier seats because they do have the massage features in them which you know can't go wrong with massage chairs in a vehicle um you can't really complain at all uh i definitely uh wouldn't complain having massage chairs in my vehicle that'd be sick um our macintosh sound system just everywhere in this vehicle this thing absolutely bangs uh like i said you can't 
go wrong with Macintosh, and especially when they place it everywhere inside the cabin. Um, they're they're literally on the trunk. They're everywhere. It's it's absolutely sick. And I love music. Uh, if you're someone that loves music, make sure you're buying a car that sounds good when you're uh, driving, because there's a lot of really sick cars out there that have the shittest sound system. Pardon my language, but they do. They have terrible sound systems, and it's just you know if you're someone looking to buy a car that gives you a bit of both. Um, make sure you do that. Don't cheap out and get the car for the looks and not get the sound system because you wanna, you're gonna be in the car all the time. So you wanna play good music and you wanna have a good time. Some people obviously you know, don't care too much about music and that's fine. Uh, we can pull this down here. Two cup holders, just like that for your passengers in the back. Fold it back up, just like that. Very easy, very effortlessly. Um, and yeah, just an amazing view and look. Let's see one more time. Amazing view and look under the, the front of the cabin. Just absolutely gorgeous and elegant. You guys can't tell me this is so classy and so classic and, and just gorgeous. And and uh, you just feel like a VIP in this car. Um, if I had a driver, I'd want him driving me around in this car. It's just absolutely, uh, it, it fits all the needs and all the, the class that Jeep has put into this. It's just, it, scream, it screams elegance. That's the first thing that I always think about when I see this vehicle and drive it. Um, so yeah, let's close this up uh, here and uh, let's take a look into the uh, the trunk. We've got a demo plate right here, so we'll just put that up just like this for now. Uh, we've got our Jeep right here with the cut in and then coming out of the vehicle, but nicely in chrome. So it's tying together with all the chrome that is throughout this vehicle. And as you can see, it's in that gorgeous diamond black. Absolutely sexy. We've got it raised right now um, with the air suspension just coming up off the, the ground like a monster. Got our exhaust on both sides with some beautiful chrome just right here. And uh, I believe we can take this off and you got your tow hitch right there as well. Uh, very nice, it's just two buttons and this should come off just like this. And then uh, you got your tow hitch plugins and uh, all that jazz and it's very easy to put back on and take off. It's just, as you can see here, these buttons, they just lock in. So we clip these in first. And then once we Find the sweet spot, there we go. Oh, so I'm gonna explain what happened there in a second when I get this locked in. There is um, a control underneath for the trunk with your foot and just, you know, I believe you just wave it down there somehow or whatever it may be. And uh, that's how you open up the uh, the trunk, just like it did there. As you can see, we got the uh, the L logo, so you know you're driving the uh, Grand Cherokee L 4x4. Shout out Foundation North Vancouver. Um, gorgeous license plate here. Our rear view camera, absolutely gorgeous. And then our Overland, just right here. Make sure everybody knows that you're in the Overland package. This ain't no regular Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee L. We're gonna open that up. First, we're gonna turn on the uh, headlight and tail lights, so you guys can get a little taste of these modern lights because they're absolutely gorgeous. Just see right there, this gorgeous red, just shining through the night. Um, look at that trunk space, wow. That is a lot of trunk space. Keep in mind that third row is down, but like you could get in here and almost lay down. Like if you put down those seats, you could quite literally travel in this vehicle and sleep in it. It is, uh, it's got a lot of space. We've got storage on this side, our Macintosh sound system on this side. We've got Macintosh sound system in this side, in that side. We've got lights um, on both sides. Just absolutely thinking about everything. Um, our one, you press this button and close the uh, trunk, it'll beep, make sure, let you know it's closing to open up the third row. Boom, so left, boom, right. And uh, we can actually do that with all the rows. You got the two row and the two row left, two row right. Um, so everything can fold down very e easily and effortlessly with just a button, pull these headrests up, and then there you go. That's three rows right there, guys. That's seven, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven passengers in this thing maybe fit your dog in the trunk if you really wanted to. Uh, but you're probably gonna wanna drive in with you around. Um, so we got more storage right here. That just slides off like that. Because the spare tire is actually right underneath the vehicle right there. Uh, so you got a little bit of extra storage just right in here um, for whatever you want it to be. Very nice. Um, chrome right here, it's like a chrome plastic actually, not like a real chrome, but nevertheless, not too bad. We'll press this guy right here. Watch that close. Just like that. 
and then uh, we're just gonna take a look at these uh, these tail lights. Like I said, the absolute gorgeous tail lights. They just look so sleek how they're cut into the vehicle, just like that. And uh, the red just kind of shining on you. Absolutely clean, um, absolutely ele elegant. This entire vehicle just is so impressive and so beautiful and so gorgeous. I love it so much. And for honestly, for seventy nine thousand dollars, it's Canadian dollars. That's not too bad. Like you can you can't tell me this is a sexy looking Jeep. Got our Grand Cherokee right there let everybody know this is the new body style this is the new body style all the new Cherokees are gonna start looking like this um, absolutely menace even looking from the front absolutely gorgeous with our, our uh, modern tail lights right there and you can see right in there Jeep performance LED beautiful LED system set up in here absolutely gorgeous with our very nice grill classic Jeep grill tying in nice little Jeep logo and chrome which is very nice my two tow hooks right here nice and sturdy onto the frame these guys are absolutely beast. Nice and warm too, because the engine's right there, obviously. Our floodlights on the bottom. Some more vents that aren't really uh, active vents, but that's okay. Got our rims and tires just right there. Another little angle at the vehicle, just like that. Before we pop the hood, I actually want to lower this thing all the way to the bottom so that you guys can actually uh, see what it looks like when it is uh, lowered. Oh, I got my alarm going off, so we'll just turn that off for now. Let's see if we can, uh, ooh, I guess the key fob, it's key fob's not recognizing. So I'll hop in there just like that. Close the door. So make sure you close the doors. We're gonna lower it all the way to the bottom. As you can see, the nose is dipping. Now the rear is dipping. Yeah, nose is dipping again. You can see the steering wheel kind of adjusting there. Now the rear is going to dip a little bit again. And it's going to let us know when we are finally done the stages of uh, the air suspension ride. Going all the way to the bottom. Because we want to see how this thing looks when it's completely lowered at its uh, lowest point. So we'll wait for the vehicle to confirm. Beautiful. We are confirmed that we are at the lowest. Now let's see the difference. Look at that. <laughs> super clean look at that lowered completely like night and day if, if you would just rewind the video and see how much higher this was just look at that it's almost touching the tires kind of um absolutely sleek looking when it's lowered like that too i like it a lot i'm smiling ear to ear because this thing is sick it is so sick i love it a lot look how much lower it just got like that is actually so impressive it just shows you jeep does not mess around look at that so cool let's uh let's pop the hood here take a look at that hemi engine boom just like that slide our hand right in here find the flip boom there we are 5.7 liter hemi v8 360 horsepower and this is absolutely bad bad beast bad girl whatever you want to call her she is just absolutely gorgeous, impressive, um, built very nice, this engine bay. Just absolutely so thought out and well put together. And obviously I may be hyping up the engine bay more than it needs to be, but I just like it when everything's organized. Everything is just put together and, and, uh, and assembled so, um, so well. You can just see all the parts, sit here and stare at this thing all day. And like I said, it sounds absolutely monster. We'll give an exhaust test right now. And yeah, like, as you just heard there, it sounds absolutely sick. Um, you can't go wrong with this car. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you leave a like and make sure you comment down below what you thought of this video, what you think of this car, what you think of the price range, what you think of all the features, how it looks, the aesthetic. Would you buy this car? And, uh, you know, comment down below any feedback uh, for myself as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because it helps support our channel and every video that I continue to make for you guys. And uh, we got some other videos coming out. Uh, my big boss is gonna be jumping in here as well. And I can't wait to show you guys his content. And uh, yeah, I'm excited uh, to get get the get this year just rolling on a good note. We got this one under the, uh, the belts, under the wraps. I love it a lot. Hopefully one day I'll be able to just buy one of these things. And, uh, and, and this would be a daily driver. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it a lot. Shout out Jeep. Shout out North Vancouver Foundation Auto. And uh, we're going to catch you guys very soon. Make sure you stay tuned. Hit those bell notification button so you're notified every time we post a video. And I'll see you on the floor.